Good morning everybody, this is Doug from DC Best Ever and on today's episode I'm going to show you how to make a multicolored gradient using paint.net, so stick around. Now if you've never heard of paint.net, it's free software that is almost exactly like Photoshop, but without that expensive price tag. It's 100% free and I will include the link down below in the description so you can take advantage of that. Now let me go ahead and open paint.net so we can get started. Now the reason I wanted to do a tutorial about this is because if you've used software similar to this before then you probably know about the gradient tool. The gradient tool allows you to blend two selected colors like for instance you have black and white selected right here so you come over to your canvas left click and then drag this down and it blends black and white together and then you can come over here and adjust it however you want so that's cool and all but what if you need to blend three or more colors together well let me show you exactly how you can do that I found a neat little trick that you can use what you want to do is create a new canvas so come up here hover over file and then click new and it's already typed in here but you want however many colors you want that's what you want to select here for your width I'm just gonna do four four pixels by one pixel and then click OK now you're probably wondering where that window went well it's there but it's really really tiny so let's click on our zoom tool and then we want to zoom all the way in so now you can see these are our four pixels right here. Now go ahead and choose the four colors that you want to blend together or five colors, however many colors you need to uh, use. And you want to use the pencil tool here. And I'm just going to pick four of these defaulted colors here and add them into my canvas one by one. Now I'm a huge fan of using keyboard shortcuts because they save a lot of time. Um, so what you want to do is select the entire canvas. On a PC you're going to hit Control A. I believe on the Mac it's Command A but I'm not 100% sure. Um, if you don't feel comfortable using the keyboard shortcuts you can use your mouse still. And uh, in order to select everything you're going to come up here click on edit and select all is down here at the bottom. But if you want to learn the keyboard shortcuts, they're usually listed to the right of whatever option you're trying to use. So you can just click on select all. And now you want to copy this. Keyboard shortcut for that is control C. Or once again, you can come up here to edit and copy is right there. Now you can go back to the original canvas that you started off with or if you need to have a different size canvas maybe you need to have a perfectly square canvas to work with you can open a new one click on file then new and then whatever canvas size you want to use um, we can do 800 by 800 and click OK or hit enter now I like using a blank canvas when you start a new project in paint.net it fills in the background with white, but I like the background to be completely blank. So if you use our keyboard shortcut, Control A to select the whole canvas, you can hit delete, and that eliminates that, and it just it makes it it just makes it a lot easier to see what you're doing uh, without having another color in the background to throw you off. Now we've already copied the four by one pixels from the other canvas, and we want to paste them onto this canvas. So to paste, keyboard shortcut is control V, or you can hit, click on edit up here, and paste is right there. I don't know what happened there, but control V. All right, so now you can see this tiny little thing up here, because it's only four by one pixels, and you're gonna want to click on this, and then just drag it out and now you can see you have those four colors that you chose before are all blended together here now maybe you don't want them to be blended 
horizontally like this. Maybe you want them to be vertical. Now, if you notice, if you move your cursor on the outside of your canvas by any of these spots here, it shows a curved set of arrows. And what you can do is if you click, you can rotate, you can rotate whatever your selection is here and put it wherever you want. Now, if you want a more precise rotation, you can hold shift while you're doing this and it will go in increments of like 15 degrees or something like that. You know, I personally like a 45 degree angle on my blends, which I think I screwed that up. There we go. And now you can move it to wherever you need it to be. And then if you notice on the middle of the square on all sides, you'll see a little dot here. What you can do is click on that dot and drag it out. So this takes up the entire canvas. And once you've done that, you know, you can you can continue to move this around wherever you want it to be. And that is it. Once you're done, you can just uh, click up here. This is deselect and you have a background. Now, what I recommend if you're not used to using software like this is leave this in the background and anything that you're going to add to it, you want to you want to create a new layer. So this doesn't get messed up at all. So you can come down here and that that little button right there is uh, to add a new layer. Now you're working on a new layer and it's not going to mess up your new blend. So that's it. I hope this was uh, helpful for you guys. Let me know in the comments below if there's another tutorial that you want to see on here. And uh, in the meantime, be the best versions of yourselves ever. I'll see you in my next video. Take care, everybody.